Hello, this is Ryan Hicks of TalkToProfit.com. Today I want to talk to you about how to go from being a loser to being a winner. Now when I say loser, I don't mean loser in the pejorative sense of, oh, that guy's a loser over there. But although that really is what the idea is, some people lose, some people win, some people fail, some people succeed. Now even down the road to success, there are people who fail and lose sometimes, but they keep going forward and that's what makes them a success. But the loser is different from the winner. The loser is the one who continues in that position. They almost set up a camp there and they live in Loserville basically. That's what they choose to be. They don't want anything to do with success. Any kind of effort or self-improvement, it seems like a drag on them. They just are content being in failure being a loser, not striving for success and being a winner. But what's worse about the individual that's considered a loser is that many times they drag other people down. It's almost like people that are successful, that are winners, are walking down the street to success. And in the ditch, where losers dwell, is a loser, and he's dragging his arm up and trying to pull the winner down with him. He's not seeking the winner to help him and pull him up so he can get on the path to success he's trying to pull the other guy down well if that guy is going to be successful I don't want him to be you know, if I can't be it then nobody can in this kind of mentality and they do this to their friends and family they drag them down they tell them things that are discouraging they sow doubt they sow discord they sow unbelief and they wonder why every year year in and year out things are the same or worse than they were before my friends, snap out of this. This is not a good way to be. This is not how you live your life. You're going to give account for this, and if you're dragging people down, or keeping yourself down, keeping your family down, below the standards that you could raise up to, it doesn't take much to become a success. You could make small daily improvements. Most successful people read nonfiction books. Okay start with that buy a book about business success in business any kind of book doesn't matter think and grow rich any kind of book the richest man in babylon whatever book you want to grab grab that book and read five minutes today five minutes not five hours not the entire book not 50 chapters five minutes that much and if you go more than that great Look, you just succeeded. You accomplished your goal and you exceeded it. That's what a winner does. They set out for goals. They don't necessarily set, set small goals, but at first set some small goals, attain them, and then make larger goals. So you reach five minutes, you've done that. Maybe you went 10 minutes. You know what, I could do 30 minutes a day, I bet. Set that for a goal. Then do that and see if you can exceed that. The point is that's a small area of reading books, and but that's very beneficial because you do learn, it continues, and it needs to be something you do every single day. With that little bit of effort, you've now started to achieve things and accomplish your goals and even exceed them. Little things like that is how you begin to get yourself out of that ditch, you lift yourself up to the road to success, and you start accomplishing big things in life. If you've had people tell you you're a loser, you can't accomplish things, you can't do this, you can't do that, that is lies. You can do anything if you set your mind to it, if you'll purposely change your mindset about it, purposely tell yourself better things, stop calling yourself a loser, stop thinking of yourself as a loser, think of yourself as a winner, and take the action to become a winner. It's a lot easier to think. Many people don't want to work hard. And they, they have these catchphrases of work smarter, not harder. But you need to work hard and smart. And you can do this with simple changes each day. Set yourself some small goals at first. Not large goals. Not, I'm going to read a book a day. I'm going to read. Just set yourself five minutes a day. That's for reading a book. Because you'll get beneficial things from that. Write down any, things you, any ideas you have. Don't worry about how long it takes you to read the entire book. Just set yourself a small goal and accomplish it. See what that feeling of accomplishment, of success is like. Set yourself a little higher goal and then reach that goal also.
then start setting in other areas. Well, I'm going to research a business. I'm going to spend 30 minutes a day researching a business. Do that and start and keep with it. Consistency is very important in this. That consistency, that pattern of consistency and diligence in your efforts will bring you success. And all these little things add up to success eventually, to accomplishing great things where you started with nothing, you started thinking of yourself as a loser, you even started pulling people down into the ditch with you, but now you're seeing yourself as a winner and you're bringing other people in the ditch up with you onto the roads to success. You're bringing people up, you're lifting people up, and you're able to be a blessing to other people. Instead of dragging other people down or being jealous of other people's success, you want them to succeed. And you're joyous when somebody else is succeeding because you know you're succeeding as well. And you know you can help other people succeed. And you know when other people succeed that they will bring other people up to success as well. My friends, you can do this. You don't have to remain in Loserville. You don't have to think of yourself as a loser. If you've been told that all your life, you've been told a lie your entire life. You don't have to choose that. Now, if you do continue it like that, that is a choice you're making. Yes, other people may have told you that. You may have had bad circumstances for how you grow, grew up. Your current circumstances may be bad, but you in the end make the final decision on what your outlook is gonna be and what your success or failure is gonna be. You're gonna make that choice. No one else is sitting there pulling a button saying loser over here, winner over here. You make the choice. You choose to walk to winner or walk to the loser circle. And I'm telling you, all you have to do is just start with some slow, daily progress, diligent progress to small goals. Keep ramping those goals up, though, and start down the path to success. It's not a one-time event. It's a continual daily event that you continue to grow, continue to progress in whatever you're trying to do, and you will be successful and then you'll be a winner, and then you can help other people become winners as well. I hope this has been a blessing for you. May God bless you richly. It's something I've never heard of, but it doesn't sound like fun. I think it's very fun. It's called Nerdcore Hip Hop. It's Nerdcore Hip Hop. Hip -hop. Yes. Um, it's uh, people who identify as nerdy, rapping about the things they love, video games, science fiction, having a hard time meeting romantic partners, you know. <laughs> it's really catchy and fun. Losers, in other words. Well... <laughs>